Make sure you're logged into playzenic.com. Select your age. Click Start Coding. JavaScript. And here you can follow along with all our examples and code along with us. Hey everyone, Paul from TechZenic here. And in this lesson, we'll be learning more about strings. Strings in JavaScript are a sequence of pure Unicode characters, and strings are amongst the most popular types in JavaScript. We can create a string by enclosing characters in quotes. We can use either double quotes, single quotes, or backtick quotes. JavaScript will read any characters enclosed by these as strings. More on backtick quotes later. But in this example, I've already created two variables, first name and last name. First name is the string Tony, and the last name is the string Stark. If we want to call individual characters or letters of a string, we can do so like this. We call our variable first name, and then in square brackets, zero, which represents the first letter of our string. Notice how it's zero and not one. We count the first character of strings with zero, and we can keep doing this for every letter of the string. If I refresh my console, hit run, we can see our first letter is T, second letter zero. If we want to find the length of a string, we can use this method. First, going to declare a variable length of first name, and I'm going to set it equal to first name dot length. And if I console log this, clear my console and run my code again. We get four as our length of the first name. This means there are four characters in our string. Something cool we can do with length is use it to find the last letter of a string. To do so, we're going to call our string again, first name, square brackets, but this time I'm going to call our variable length of first name minus one. If I run my code, you can see the last letter is Y. So the reason why we use minus one is because we start counting characters at zero. If we look at our variable here, first name, Tony, we can see T is zero, O is one, N is three, and Y is four. And using the length method, we can tell that the length of the string is four. However, since we only we start counting from zero, the last letter would be string at element number three. Next, we can also add strings together. To do this, we use our operator plus. I'm going to create another variable called old name, and I'm going to set it equal to first name plus space plus last name. Now if I console log it, if 
clear my console and rerun my code, we can see full name is Tony Stark. And we did so by adding strings together. Thank you for listening. See you guys in the next lesson.